Hey kindergarten first grade leaders, this video is for our first week of February. We have a brand new theme, which is Rewind, Kindness Deserves a Replay. And our um, life app for the month is Kindness, showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. So this week, our story comes from the book of Titus, and it's about the kindness principle. And our bottom line is be kind to others because God is kind to you. And our memory verse for this month is much shorter than last month, and it's kind of cool. It's the golden rule. Kids might not know that that actually comes from the Bible. So it just says, do to others as you want them to do to you, Luke 6, 31. So for this week, as you roll in at 8.30 and 10.30, um, just please make sure um, it's important to get here at that time just so that you have a minute to pray for your kids. Um, just thank God for the kindness that he shows us and just pray that kids learn why it's important to be kind and that um, this Sunday would encourage them to intentionally be kind to others. So then as kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, just um, make sure you know their names, ask about their week, um, make any first time guests feel welcome. And then some icebreaker questions are, what's the kindest thing that someone has done for you this week? What's the kindest thing you did for someone else? And how did you feel when you were kind to someone? And how do you think they felt? So then at 9 and 11, when service starts, your first activity is called Random Acts. So you have a baggie at the bottom of your cart of these little fruity candies. So you'll get about six per kid. And you're going to tell kids that they're going to do some random acts in order to earn something. So show them what they'll be earning, which is those fruities, which who doesn't love those? And explain that the goal is to earn as much as they can. So then you're going to start calling out random acts and you're going to give kids one fruity for each act that they complete. And um, you can use the ones on the next page. You can come up with your own. So these say um, some are easy, some are hard, some are silly. And you're just going to stop when you almost run out of items. So it says high five seven people, touch your nose with your tongue, count backwards from 10 to 1, do 20 jumping jacks, pat your head while you rub the belly, say alphabet as fast as you can. And then um, you're just going to say, wow, you guys earned a lot of fruity. So a lot of times in life when we have to do something in order, sorry, a lot of times in life we have to do something in order to earn a prize. So we're going to go to large group where we'll learn about something amazing that we don't even have to earn. So um, just there's a baggie of fruities for each service. So you can use all of these um, for the kids that are in your small group. You might not use all of them. That's fine. But just know that you can. Okay. So then head down to large group, just make sure that you sit with your kids. This week is really the salvation message. It's a huge, very important um, story. So just help them to pay attention and listen. And then when you get back, you're gonna do um, an activity called happy and sad story. So what you're gonna do is you already have these plates made with the um, tongue thing in between each one. And you're gonna have your kids make a happy face on one side and a sad face on the other side, okay? And then um, you're gonna explain that you're gonna read a story to them. And when someone in the story is being kind, they're gonna hold up the happy face. And when someone is not being kind, they're gonna hold up the sad face. Um, so then the script is on the very front of your folder. So you're just gonna read that out loud and kids will flip their sign over for happy and sad. So then you'll close that by saying, so guys, today we learned that God doesn't have to show us kindness. He chooses to be kind. Oh, sorry. That's, that's Josh. That's anything. Josh, guys. You can blame him for that. So you could say he chooses to be kind because he loves us. And he gives us kindness freely. We don't have to do anything to earn that. And like our activity before a large group, you guys had to earn those fruities. Well, this kindness is a free gift There's from God. And we should also give the free gift of kindness to others. They don't have to do anything to deserve it. So then maybe tell the kids about a time that someone was kind to you, even though you didn't deserve it. And then just remind them, so our bottom line today, guys, is be kind to others because God is kind to you. So then for the memory verse review, you're going to help your kids um, in your new Bibles that are NIRV look up Luke 631. So there's instructions for how to do that with kindergartners and how to do that with first graders. And then just practice saying that verse with hand motions and explain that sometimes this verse is called the golden rule because it's really important to follow. And then you're going to hand out these activity pages, which just has the memory verse on it, and you're going to have some golden stickers on your cart. And so kids are just going to decorate the page with those golden stickers to represent that this is the golden rule. And then you're just going to say, so guys, I want you to take your golden rule page home with you, and I want you to read it to your family so that they will also know to do to others as you want them to do to you. 
excuse me. And the reason that we should do this is because God has been so kind to us in the first place. So remember, be kind to others because God is kind to you. So this is the huge takeaway, guys. We hear the golden rule all the time, but why? Why do we do that? Because God has been kind to us. So that's kind of the big thing for this week. So then when you pray, just have kids circle up with you and go around the circle and take turn. have kids take turns praying. God, please help me be kind to others. And the reason we have kids just practice saying a simple prayer out loud is to just get them comfortable praying out loud, get them comfortable talking to God. Um, like we talked about last month, have them practice praying to God. So just have them go around and obviously don't force them. Kids can pass if they want to, but have the kids that are willing practice saying, God, please help me be kind to others. And then you can just close with this prayer below or a prayer of your own. And then just as adults come, make sure that all kids are getting a memory verse card and a parent cue this week. And just tell them we're learning about the golden rule in our small group. So that's pretty cool. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for serving and being small group leaders. Your influence is just amazing. I love coming and seeing what kids are doing in their small groups every single Sunday. So thank you so much for serving and I'll see you on Sunday.